Hey guys, Rivetted here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Everyone's enjoying themselves today. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. I hope you have had a great week thus far. I do want to thank everybody for uh, welcoming Armor Time back to the channel. Uh, it's been lovely having him hanging out. We've done a bit of gaming. We've uh, a little bit of Cube World, a little Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, getting him back into having fun and gaming again. It's been a delight. Always, always a pleasure having Armor kicking around. One of my favorite people to hang out with, so yeah. And uh, yeah, expect a little bit more of him on the channel, not gonna lie. Uh, what do we have? Anything of any great importance? Nothing at all. Junk, junk, and more junk. Um, so I was gonna ask Armor to join up today, but I wanted to kind of have a yik, yak, yakety tack, walk. Just a little bit of like my own little thing for today. Um, just because of the fact that a couple of things have happened. Uh, nothing bad or anything, but I just think things I want to chit chat and get it out in the open. Uh, over the weekend, I actually booked and got my first vaccine, a vaccination. Um, so I have had the first one, um, which was, yeah, nerve wracking, not gonna lie. Um, definitely a big step to get that done. I, not that I was nervous to do it, it was just like the whole process of, you know, am I going to get approved <laughs> and all the other stuff, and then not really knowing what the ramifications of it were going to be. Um, no real side effects as of yet, uh, per se. Um, really bad sore arm. I got the Pfizer one, uh, so I had a really stiff arm the day afterwards. It lasted uh, really painful for about 24 hours where I couldn't lift my arm above my head um, without it going, ugh. Um, then it just kind of eased off, and then I got a little bit of tenderness in the arm still. Um, but other than that, not too much. Slight little fever feeling from time to time. Uh, but that could also be allergies, because <laughs> it tis the season. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy that I got it done. Um, interesting thing. Um, Obviously, the, the the course of the last year and a half has been traumatic, and you know we all deal and cope and do what we can, right? Um, so I've been doing my best to cope and handle things, and you know try to be conscientious of everything, which has been good for me thus far. Um, so booking and getting the appointment and getting everything taken care of was you know very important. Um, I'm the last person in my family to get it done. And, um, so I thought I've been doing pretty good with everything. You know, I thought, okay, you're coping, Rivet. You're, you're doing good, you know? Um, I didn't realize how shitty I was doing until I got the vaccine. Um, because literally, the moment that the needle went in and it was done, I felt a huge weight go off my shoulders that I didn't know I was carrying. Um... Like I said, everybody handles things differently, and I didn't realize that um, that worry uh, was so prevalent in me. Um, you know, I thought I was doing okay, to be absolutely frank and honest. I'm like, oh, you know, you're, you're coping, you're good. You know, I'm going out for my walks and doing my thing, getting groceries. And then all of a sudden, that happened. And um, it was like, you know, all the anger and fear and everything just kind of bloop. Hiccup, gone. Um, and so, like, there's, like, a lightness to my step. Uh, you know, breathing easier. <laughs> you know, just, like, not constantly nervous and worried at every little thing that happens. Like, every little movement of your body. It's like, oh, God, is that it? Is this, is this the, you know, and there's, like, that, you know, I'm, and I'm still being cautious. Don't th take me as going, okay, I've given up. I'm, I'm free. Um, that's not part of my build. <laughs> that's not me. Um, so I am still wearing masks, being cautious, uh, only going out to, to places when there's nobody around, but not nearly as fearful, um, which is a nice feeling. So, um, I've had some people question why I got it, <laughs> and I was like, really? Um, because anybody that knows me knows that this is kind of something I've been leaning towards, but, um, yeah, I actually had, even had a friend. Uh, message me on Facebook about it and saying, you know, they couldn't be friends with me anymore because I got my vaccine. I'm like, oh, good. I haven't talked to you in like three years. But, you know, thank you so much for, you know, sounding off. Oh, yeah, fuck what. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you want to run away and leave. You, you do you, man. You know, whatever gets you through your day. I don't rightly fucking care. Um, I'm not here to hate or, you know, be angry at anybody for anything. Like, none of that matters to me. 
Um, you know, have your own belief system about things. That's good, you know. Like I've said before, if, you know, you've got, uh, like, if, if a friend of mine has, like, a different perspective, a different belief system, you know, uh, anything that they're into and it's counter to me, great. Wonderful. I mean, you don't have to be the same in order to be friends. <laughs> like, there's nothing in the... There is no rule book about friends that says you have to be exactly alike. Uh, most of the people that I really enjoy, you know, we all have a little bit of differences. Um, you know, could be political, could be religion, anything. Um, you know, and I think that's what makes, you know, friends and friendships so bloody important. Because you have those differences of opinions and, you know, the different people, different walks of life. Um, but yeah, I kind of found that kind of funny. It's like, okay, you know, that's you. Have fun. You know, and all I posted was that, uh, you know, on Saturday, because um, initially I was thinking of getting it done on Sunday, uh, and then a uh, slot opened up on Saturday, and they, they asked me Friday evening as I was getting done work if I would, um, you know, be available for the next day at noon. I was like, yeah, I can do that. I'm uh, glad I did. Because, you know, having a lazy Sunday of not doing anything was really nice. I'm not going to lie. I kind of enjoyed it. Where the hell am I going? Let's take a look here. Um, I knew I was headed towards a thing. Okay, I'm, I'm heading towards it now. I think I am. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, because I, when I got the, the, the shot on Saturday, Sunday was just a, a write-off of my arm being tender, um, you know. All the gaming stuff that I had planned for the weekend kind of went meh. Um, luckily, Friday night, after I'd found out, you know, that I was going to get my vaccine the next day, I just plowed through and recorded a bunch of stuff uh, before going to bed, and uh, it went well. You know, I got some stuff done, so I, I knew I wanted to make sure I had ample uh, stuff for the week. Just in case, you know, being conscientious about things. Um, I'm looking to see if there's a thing around. I haven't seen squat yet. I'm thinking it's up here. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm good. I'm happy. And uh, God, my <laughs> glass of tea I'm just sitting against uh, something, and it just slid down and made a whack sound. I think it was what it was. If it wasn't, I don't know what the fuck was making that noise, and I should probably be afraid. Um, what the hell? You'd think there'd be a thing around here. Well, it's a canyon. There's nothing there. I don't see anything. Are you guys a thing? Nothing here. And it's dead quiet in the game. That's always alarming. Nothing here. The only thing I can think of is I missed something along here. Like, on going, unless there's like a, a thing where you can, you know, bomb part of the thing. And yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. Nothing here. Hmm. Not really anything of, like, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Oh, I guess we hit the ground and call it a day. <laughs> we, we found a canyon, Snicket. Uh, what do we do with it? Oh, treasure spirit, baby. Just had to get closer. Oh baby. Oh baby baby. See now I'm now I'm a happy man. I'm gonna wreck you guys if you're wreckable. Uh are those other ones all dead, Snicket? Ooh. Yeah, they're all dead. Can you wreck them, Snick? Can, th th he's just one guy. Snick, you got this, right? No, you're dead. <laughs> okay, you're just being cruel at this stage, man. 
How many potions can you sip? Here, take that. Right in time, Snicket. That guy was a jerk. He had all of the powers and, and none of the patience, and they dropped squat. Linen gloves of Roni, which apparently, I'm, I'm assuming, is nothing for me. Sweet Jesus, nothing. Snicket, we got a treasure spirit, so hopefully that'll give us a thing. Um, let's walk over here. We're just going to wander. So, um, huh, I don't, what, 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 I, I, like I said, a, a couple more things I've been wanting to kind of broach and talk about. Um, I know I mentioned that I was taking and easing back on some of the things to work on some other projects, and that's still in the works. Um, obviously, the plans I had for the weekend were shot. Um, kind of hard to uh, make uh, videos and stuff when I'm wandering and nervous. and So I didn't film anything that I wanted to. Um, the tech thing that I was planning on doing... Um, still got an idea. And it's something that I haven't seen anybody do yet. So I want to kind of jump on it. And I'm, hopefully I'm going to have it ready for this weekend. Um, it's a... It's a concept and a thought because right now there's so many p folks that can't get decent computers or can't get upgrades and I found something that works in the interim, let's put it that way. Um, don't need a fancy graphics card or anything and it's pretty slick. So I want to make that a thing. Um, these guys are going to be dead, yep. except for you, you survive somehow. Okay. Still nothing. Like, I'm not getting any drops. And I still don't have armor. <laughs> well, armor. Like, my friend armor isn't here. Um, I wanted to make a play and a joke about that. You know, it's like, I finally found armor. Um, but instead it was him, not the chest armor. But I'm like, that's a little too on the nose for even for me. Um, is that a... It's a village. Let's go do it. Let's go and have ourselves a little adventure. Oh man, yeah. I went out and got some groceries after work tonight. I'm, I'm on day shift um, for the next couple of weeks. Actually, I think for about the next month, to be honest. Um, I've um, I've been doing training, so that's a treat. Uh, so about two days into it as of now. And it's going okay. I've learned a few things, which again, it's common whenever you're learning and training. If you're not learning, um, you're not paying attention, I always assume. So I try to pay attention. Um, and it's good. I know, it's been nice. It requires water. Well, get in the water, you doofus. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a nice treat. I got, um, uh, what is it? I do this week, next week, and then a day. Um, which is kind of weird. So the training supposed to be two full weeks, um, but we have uh, Quebec holiday, uh, Baptiste Day, uh, Jean Baptiste. It's um, it's a Quebec holiday, it's only held here in Canada, um, and it's more of a celebration that we have here than you would have for Canada Day, which is the other one that the rest of Canada tends to celebrate. Um, I'm on the fence, you know. I'm not. Um, originally from Quebec, so it doesn't mean anything to me, uh, unlike it does to other folks. Uh, Canada Day in Quebec tends to be moving day, so that's um, always a treat, <laughs> which you're not used to. You're like, huh? It's like, yep, everybody moves on that day. It's still a holiday, because it's, it's, it's a federal holiday. But uh, yeah, um, everybody moves and does their thing, and uh, it's it's a shitty, shitty day. <laughs> Here in Quebec, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just mayhem. Because it's literally thousands of people moving on the same day. And it just makes absolutely no sense as to you know, why that's the day. Um, everybody decides they want to pack up a move in the middle of fucking summer. But hey, who am I to judge? Um, crafting. Okay, well thank you 
for telling me a thing. But yeah, it's going to be um, it's, a, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, uh, to say the least. Okay, Zebra's Farms, Magic Book of Crafting. Did am I getting things? Am I in the right biome? Yeah. Okay. This is all in line with what I was planning on doing anyway. Um... There was... I didn't get the bell yet. Dang it! I knew I was going to do something in that damn village and I forgot. Um, reset the day. I'm an idiot. And we'll go and take on that castle. Maybe? No, I can't because I don't have the bell. We'll do something. Man, I wish I could be faster. It's over here. Uh, yes, yeah, so anyway. Um, uh, some of the plans I had for doing the extra stuff is kind of not on hold it's just it's pending still um hopefully i get some of it done this weekend is the intention um i'll actually have an additional day off like i said on baptiste day so i actually have it scheduled off which is gonna be a nice treat um i don't usually get holidays off all that often and i have been getting them as of late so i'm not going to argue at work if they're suddenly going to be giving me days off i'm like yeah sure i'll, I'll take them they're good I take all the days off you want to give me. They're paid. I'll take all of them. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud. I'm good. Um, let's do this. Um, so anyway, that's the stuff. You know that that's still pending, right? Um, gaming stuff on the channel still working towards. Uh, the games that I've got, I'm not going to make any changes at the moment. So I'm happy. Uh, with everything thus far. So we have Cube World, obviously, three times a week. Um, uh, days gone in the evenings, four days a week. Three episodes, Thursday, Saturday, or sorry, th Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, two episodes of um, Random Game and Tuesday and Thursday, which this week is Genshin Impact. And that rounds things out. So I end up with 12 videos a week. Um, you know, should be ample for anybody, <laughs> you know, for any channel. 12 a week is pretty much, uh, yep, it, it's busy. Um, the decline is exponentially happening. Um, you know, it kind of hovers for a moment and then all of a sudden 15 people drop in the course of an evening. So if it's, you know, YouTube purging things or whatever, I, I'm, I'm done trying to figure it out um i've had some nice comments of folks saying you know that they recognize the effort that i put in um they wonder how i keep myself motivated and continuing on with it um you know and, and that's it, it's a fair question um you know i've questioned that myself more than once um and i've addressed it more than once too uh, and the the actual fact of the matter is is that I do this because I love it. I love making videos. I love uh, the whole process of what you know being a content creator and a YouTube content creator is. Um, so at no point do I think that what I'm doing um, isn't for a purpose. It has helped me immensely in my life, um, coping and dealing with things that I didn't think I was prepared to deal with. Uh, the depression that I had, uh, you know, a lot of depression <laughs> I had back a while ago. Um, after a breakup that I had, I was, I was, in, a, I was in a mess. It was a right state. Um, you know, dealing with <laughs> moving th a couple of times, what, two or three times now, um, I think three. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I, I've my my life is constantly in flux. I'm trying to think, uh, in Florida I moved one, two, three times, and then Halifax, Montreal. So yeah, five moves, 
fun. Yeah, I kind of thought that was not going to be a thing. Um, but the farm, and that's still up here, so we can go and do that. Yeah, so anyway, the the channel has been, and you know, a lot of it is from Cuba, but just the games in general has been a distraction to get me through, you know, tough times and things. So I will forever be grateful um, for this platform for giving me what it has. Um, you know, it, it's a great little hobby for me. Um, I've met some amazing people, got some amazing friends, just out of being, you know, guy on YouTube, um, you know, some, like, Armor Time, one of the first people that I met on YouTube, um, you know, I was a fan of his content, sent him a message, and we've been friends ever since, um, and we worked together for quite a while, uh, you know, bolstering each other up and helping our channels grow, um, you know, trying to get, first to get to a thousand, but it wasn't a contest, it wasn't a... You know, I'm going to beat you. It was like, let's see who can help who to get there faster. And then, you know, the first one to get there, make sure the other one gets there quick. You know, and I I love that. Like, it's not very often you can find like-minded people that purpose um, is not just self-serving, that they actually want to help others as well. That's a rare treat. And I'm forever um, happy that I have friends like that. And again, met them doing this um so yeah i will um i'm i'm i was happy when i had a thousand subscribers i'm ecstatic you know with the 6500 um i get just as many views now as i did when i had 500 subscribers uh it's the nature of the thing you know some folks just kind of move on but they don't unsubscribe and that's fine um i don't hold any anger grudges nothing um, I'm just happy for the folks that do show up. I'm happy to, um, like I said, have a platform to do what I do and to play games. And it's something that I thoroughly enjoy doing. Um, okay. There is a thing that you were telling me to go and deal with. Is that it? I'm not going to not listen to this thing. I may have missed one, but I'm going to try not to. Um... So yeah, that's why the other, like the tech thing is going to become a thing. And that's why the food thing is going to be a thing. Um, I'm not going to give up on it. You know, it's all going to be part of it. So I think it's, I think it's going to be good. Oh, that's armor messaging me. Probably want to see if I want to play some GTA or some Red Dead. Bag of fucking gold. Great. <laughs> Just what I didn't want. Um, Jesus. See what we got here. Uh, the farm. I think we can do these last two. So yeah, a um, couple of concepts and a couple of ideas for the food thing that I'm going to get off the ground this week, hopefully. Uh, that's the intention, anyway. Part of it was I had to go out and get groceries today. Um, I got a couple things that I wanted for doing some cooking. Uh, and then when I got there, I realized, oh crap, I really need groceries for myself. <laughs> so, then when you're a guy that has a backpack, and you uh, are still recovering from <laughs> a vaccine, and your arms are sore, and you're still tired, and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to get what I need for groceries and just go home, and which was great. I love it. Um, what the hell? Okay, hornets are done. Snake, can you kill these things? They're just annoying me. Okay, I think I'm going to take out the hornet nests. And then run around and piss off the hornets, I guess. Are you guys still a thing? Okay. I think this is done. Okay, you done? Are we good? Did I get enough of them? Help. Yeah, okay, I got you. They're not full of hornets, man. They're gone. Thank you. Can I pick up these things? I got a quest and good silk shoulder armor, which I... Pretty sure I don't need. Um, 
Yeah, I don't need green shoulder armor. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's, that's one more down. <laughs> uh, oh, great. Um, there, was there a shrine or something nearby? I thought I saw something. I may or may not have. I may have been hallucinating. That, that does happen when the droids are getting older. Um, but yeah, I picked up a couple of new games for myself that I'm excited about. Um, I mentioned it last time I picked up um, Mass Effect, the trilogy. I'm not going to bring that out to the channel. I know I, I, I mentioned it um, after thinking about it long and hard. It's just too much. <laughs> It's hundreds of hours of game, and I would ma much rather just have it something that I can goof and play. Um, it's it's not a redo of it. It's just an upgraded bit of graphics. It's the same game, which I'm cool with. Um, I still own the originals as well, um, and I'm not going to do a comparison of them. That's not who I am. Um, so that's going to be it. Going Medieval. Um, I'm going to get better at it, and then I will eventually make a series of it um it's like rimworld and if you've ever played rimworld or you know of it um it's not a simple game it's a lovely game okay i can't see shit oh a wood staff okay as much as i i appreciate the wood staff um i can't use it because I got a wand. But I think we're good. Uh, anyway, um, I, I picked up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on Epic. Uh, as a kind of like a random buy. Um, Ghost? It was something Runner. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, I grabbed a bunch of little games on sale. Uh, partially for... Um, well, not even for anything else. It's, it, I'll be honest and forthright about it. I bought them for myself. Um, I got games I like that I'm playing right now, and I've got ample quantities of these games that I could keep the same games that I have currently on my channel going forward for months and not have to update it and be fine. Um, but knowing me, I tend to get bored. Uh, Genshin Impact, um, I'm digging that as well. Fun little free-to-play game, digging it. Um, Deep Rock Galactic, got armor invested in it. And so that's going to be a thing. Uh, th this week, I started off with one idea, and then Armor joined in, and so I got other things happening. So it, this is it. Um, that's why I love doing this. You never know what you're going to do. Play the things you love and love what you do, I guess, is the only thing I got to say. But I'm going to head off. I think we did enough for today. Um, we accomplished absolutely nothing. <sighs> yeah. But anyway... Hey, we got a treasure spirit. I'll take that. that. That's a win. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Friday in our next one. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks again for coming in and hanging out and listening to my rambles. Um, you know, hopefully things will turn a little bit now that I've gotten everything taken care of. The happiness is crawling back into my head. Maybe I'll be able to pull my head out of my ass a little bit further than I have. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care, buddy, and thanks again. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the